the British American Drama Academy's London Theatre Program. Fall Semester 2018, presented to you by Italia Calino. Italia. This is my video coming to you after the full semester at the British American Drama Academy. It has been a crazy, wild, fun, full, immense learning experience. So I have to begin from the beginning. I want to make sure that I can give you as much information as possible from my experience. It's a conservatory program, and if you're gonna come to it, you need to be ready, so I just want to let you know in advance. So sorry for the information bombarding. I'm going to make two separate videos um, about the school and then things to do in London, um, and like living in London, living it with Bada, like all of accommodation, it's its own category, so that will be a separate video. So yes, back to the top of the first eight weeks, you're put into two groups. That group that you're in, you'll be spending your entire eight weeks with, You'll be attending classes with this group. The only exception is voice. Voice is split up into more groups. Uh, this year it was three. So you're split into two groups. You're taking Shakespeare, high comedy, modern physical, movement, voice, dramatic criticism, and theater history. Now, Shakespeare, I learned a ton. I feel much more confident this summer and this semester was the first, my first experience with Shakespeare and really like diving into the work and like understanding text and understanding the playwright's style of writing. High comedy, it's very easy to get caught up in the style of it and not play the truth of it and not play it at the heart. Learning how to bring on style on top of your acting and learning how to balance both of truth and style in general, it is a it was an awesome class to like begin to learn those tools. I think that that class was where I learned the most of about using text. What are you saying? Need every word. Modern physical comedy. Learning how to be like very exaggerated yet still rooted in something. That class as well is really great for really learning to stay on your toes and really thinking quickly and staying light and always being in your body. In movement, we also do like warm up and really get into your body and kind of get rooted. Um, we do breathing exercises and uh, like rock style dances and we kind of learn a little bit of the history of England with that. I think that that is a really great influence for the work. So it helps just learning control of your body and control of breath and control of movement and being specific. Voice full of techniques, um, I'm much more aware of the things that I need to unlock in order to be prepared, in order to be ready for a performance or for an audition. Theater history, be prepared to learn a ton. Be prepared to take notes, be prepared to read, because it's a ton of information and you'll want to absorb as much of it as possible. I also took a dramatic criticism. It's just another approach of looking at theater and understanding it from a point of view through writing. How to speak with people who aren't your average, you know, theater goer. So I think it's a very helpful class, very useful. Uh, it just adds to your pool of knowledge of understanding of theater. So I think it's a wonderful class. So moving forward. Every week, unless otherwise notified, you're going to the theater. Benefits is that you're learning a ton and that you're, you know, seeing theater and you're experiencing the city and you know, you're getting out and you're getting to do that. But some of the cons is that, you know, you have to make sure on top of your work because you won't get back to like 11 o'clock at night. So just be prepared to keep up with your work and to keep up with rehearsals. Complicite workshop uh, for the last four weeks, every Friday. We basically worked on showing text through physicality and telling a story just through physicality with the most minimum of words. It helps with creativity and thinking outside the box and how else could I tell this story? Master classes now are really, really awesome. We had tons of master classes. We had people coming in every week um, to speak with us. We had some really awesome, awesome actors um, come in 
and sit with us and chat with us about just their experience in the industry as a professional. They're helpful because you're getting tips straight from the professionals, people who have, you know, made it and sometimes your idols, depending on, you know, who comes through that door for your masterclass. So they're extremely awesome and they're great to experience. Um, I would say come with questions. Know who's coming to the room, research that person before they get there. Always nice to know whom you're having the pleasure with. Now the last Cinco. are production mode intense. So. I had the most fantabulous, amazing opportunity to work with the production of Tar 2. So how it works is on the last Friday of the eight weeks before you leave for midterm break, you have your workshop slash audition day with your director. It's not like a straight off audition where it's just stand up, monologue, sit down or leave. It's whatever the director wants it to be. So we did a few, mostly games. Some of these people you won't have worked with before. So it is kind of like building, bonding kind of thing. We went into a game where we kind of went into in and out of monologues a little bit, um, but every workshop, every director is different. And the first day of rehearsal was doing a read through and then finding out a uh, cast. And then our first two weeks, um, while we began to, you know, build rough blocking and things like that, kind of built setting up, putting the play up on its feet, we were scheduled to do research. We were required to do research going to churches and going to convents and talking, yeah, talking with nuns. And we went to tons of museums and we took pictures, and, uh, saw lots of art and different like styles of paintings. And my favorite is the Wallace Collection uh, in London. And I think that museum is just absolutely gorgeous. Like there's nothing like it here in the states at least I haven't seen. That was like the first two weeks, three weeks, first two to three weeks of our experience. When we weren't uh, in the rehearsal room, we were out in London going around the city exploring and I thought that was awesome. I had a very positive experience with gaining that research. Like that helped emphasize my understanding more of how much research applies to your craft and to the work and how much it is applicable to the work that you're doing on stage and just how much more it can just endow you with the understanding of the world of the play. After that we went into full day rehearsals. It was like really crunch time because you only get five weeks to put this on put this on its feet and you know have it ready for show day. I really would like to say that I soaked up as much as I could and I thought it was extremely helpful to just understand what it's like to rehearse for you know weeks at a time especially if you're coming into this program not knowing if you want to do this as a profession this is an excellent way to really see that because this is like a sample of just what your career is going to be we did have our weekends but in the real world you get one day off a week i mean i've always had the intention of becoming an actress so i knew what i was getting into but I think this is a whole, this was a great experience to really, really like clench my teeth in and understand that. Performance day was hectic. The directors go in and do a tech with lighting and sound before, so that way when you come in for your tech, it's just a cue to cue. But we did our cue to cue, our dress rehearsal, and performance in the same day. I felt very confident by the time show time came around, so I was very ready to perform. And you have to be on top of it, and you have to really be ready to hit the ground running, because you only do get five weeks for this entire production to happen. So you want to do as much work as possible, and you want to really try to apply everything that you've learned in your classes from the previous eight weeks into this production and really see how far you can push yourself and really see just how much of what you learned you can apply and try to apply as much as you can from research to the things you've learned um, in high comedy and in Shakespeare and understanding text, all of the tools that you've picked up, really try to apply them within this five weeks so you can see your growth and see just how much further you can go when you do use all of these tools that you have and it'll just make your craft that much stronger and that much better and that much more rooted in yourself and in your understanding of, of who you are and how you apply what you know into your craft. You know, it's it's the culmination of your entire experience, Hibata, so really try to just stay focused and to push through with the strongest finish ever. All in all, that is the experience at Bada. If any of it helps you decide your decision if you want to go or not, of course, I'm gonna sit here and tell you go because it's literally priceless, priceless information and experience that you can get. The team at Bada is absolutely incredible. This is a very communal school. You're surrounded by really incredible people. I'm going to tell you with all of the like push and the, the yes in the world to go. Uh, if you really want to consider going into this and the opportunities that it can lead you to. Overall, it was a fantastic semester. I'm glad that I get to share this with you guys because these are like life-changing decisions. You know, spending a semester or what I'm doing a year at Bada, that's going to, you know, change you as a person and change how you approach your work and just your understanding of it as a whole. So 
I highly recommend you go if you can. Um, it's a great program. Thank you to all the donors who make this program possible for students like me who probably would have never had an opportunity like this anywhere else. So thank you very much. If you have any questions, you can always visit the BOTA website. They will get back to you with any questions you may have. Definitely start looking into it if you're thinking about studying abroad soon. Thank you for watching my video. I hope this was helpful.